this is a very strange question right well i saw this survey and i decided to share it with my subscribers now first of all we are familiar with factorial all right but the truth is that there are different types of factorial okay now first of all let's start with the one that we know which is factorial for example if we say three factorial all right now three factorial simply means three times two times one four factorial simply means four times three times two times one okay that is factorial now this double factorial is different from factorial when you talk of double factorial it now depends if the number carrying the double factorial is an even number or an odd number now in this case the number that is carrying this double factorial is an is an odd number so do, uh, double factorial simply means for this odd number means the product of all the odd numbers from nine to one or from one to nine all odd numbers okay now for example assuming we have four factorial notice that this is what even number so it's going to be the double factorial sorry so it's going to be the all the pro the product of all even numbers from four to one which will give us what four times two right yes okay now look at what we have here nine fact nine double factorial so we are going to get the product of all odd numbers from nine to one so that means that nine double factorial is going to be nine times seven times five times three right times one yeah one is also an odd number now that is nine double factorial do you understand now that is it for double factorial now what of this number with hashtag what does that really mean this means seven primordial yes that is primordial now what is primordial primordial means the product of all uh, prime numbers from seven to one or from one to seven all prime numbers the product of all prime numbers from seven down to one so that means that seven primordial is going to be seven times another odd number apart from that is before seven is five right another odd number sorry not odd number prime number another prime number that is before five is three another prime number that is before three is two not that one is not a prime number okay yes you can do the research one is not a prime number but that is not what we are here for just know that these are the prime numbers we have from seven to one so this is our seven pre moral moral okay all right now this is where you need to pay very close attention to i mean this now what you have here is you have your factorial sign before your number it is different from your factorial but before i explain this which is called a sub factorial i'm going to explain factorial in details because it's when you understand that that you will be able to understand this sub factorial now for example if we are giving these two three numbers one two three and we are asked to arrange this in different ways in how many ways can we arrange these three numbers you notice that we already have the first arrangement which is one two three we can decide to keep this one constant and interchange the position of this three and two right so we have three and two i'm going to come down to explain this one so that we all will follow okay hmm so i'm coming down now all right have you subscribed to this channel if not please click on the subscription button turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our amazing videos we upload our videos daily we share interesting videos we share interesting topics okay so please always tune in at your convenience to watch our new upload and give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video now back to what we are doing we are still arranging one two three in as much possible many ways we can right so we have kept one constant and we interchange three and two now we are going to keep two constants now if we keep two constant we have one and three here right now if we still keep two constant we can interchange three and one and that is all we can do with two being the first now let's pick three if we keep three constants we interchange one and two okay one and two we write one and two or we can keep three constants and interchange two and one so you notice that we can actually arrange these three letters or these three numbers in six ways six ways okay now this is factorial so this means that 
if you get three items this is the way you can arrange them in six ways now assuming this you were you already know that this is factorial the best way to solve this instead of trying to figure out how many ways you can solve it this way you can arrange it this way just to use three factorial okay now three factorial remember because we have three numbers so it's three factorial is three times two times one which will give us six can you see very easy now when we talk of sub factorial now assuming the question is sub factorial three okay three sub factorial as mean this is what we are asked in sub factorial you are asked in how many ways can you arrange these three numbers in such a way that none of them will retain its original position now let me explain when you look at this notice that one is returning the first position in the original arrangement two is returning the second position three is returning the third position now so factorial is saying we don't want anyone that is repeating its position okay that is returning its position now look at this one is the first number here and is also the first number here so these two are not sub factorials we are not going to use them because one is returning its position the first position now look at this two is returning its position is not returning its position here right one is not returning its position here but three is returning its position you can see that three is returning its position so we are not going to use it then let's come to this two is not returning its position good three is not returning its original position good one is not returning its original position good so this is sub factorial this is what we are looking for now let's check this three is not returning one is not returning and two is not returning so this is also going to be taken now look at this three is not returning its position but two is returning its position its original position so this is not taken so it means that three sub factorial of three will just give us two as our result is that clear now let's go back to what we are looking for now what is the formula for this sub factorial for example this sub factorial this sub factorial we are going to have is equal to 3 factorial multiplied by so we have 1 over 0 factorial plus 1 over 1 factorial okay sorry minus 1 over 1 factorial okay then this thing you got plus 1 over we start at 1 factorial 2 factorial minus 1 over 3 factorial and that is it now we are going to stop at 3 factorial because we have 3 items to arrange do you understand now let's solve this and see if we are going to get the two that we got initially when we did it manually okay so this is still manually anyway but without this formula so it means that our three sub factorial will be equal to one over now zero factorial is one minus one over one right plus now one over two factorial is two minus one over remember your three factorial is three times two times one which is six okay so it's going to be this all right now let me let me draw this line so that we will know what we are doing all right now let's continue now three sub factorial is going to be one minus one is zero so what we have here is one over two minus one over three remember that we are going to multiply this by three factorial let's not forget so we have three factorial brackets now let's make this to be six as well so this is two times three times three okay so one times three is three two times three is six minus one over six so we have that three sub factorial is three factorial multiplied by three minus one is two and six is our common term now remember that three factorial is six right three times two times one so our three sub factorial is going to be six multiplied by two over six so we are going to get two can you see we got the same results now that you understand very well what a, a sub factorial is let's go back to our question have you given us a thumbs up and i know you know that this is not a common math question so i will appreciate it if you can share this so that other people will learn just like i learned so that other people will learn and i'm sharing it to you okay all right now let's go ahead now let's talk about five sub factorial okay 
okay this will be five factorial brackets remember our formula is going to be one over zero factorial minus one over one factorial okay plus one over two factorial okay minus one over three factorial let me stand here all right then plus one over four factorial minus one over five factorial remember that we are stopping at five because this is what five sub factorial now this is equal to five factorial brackets this is one over one minus one over one as well plus this is one over two minus one over three factorial is three times three okay let me write them here three factorial is three times two times one which will give us six now four factorial is equal to four times three times two times one which is equal to four times three is twelve 12 times 2 is 24. So we have 24. Now, 5 factorial is equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is equal to, I don't know if I'm now fast. I, I promise I won't be fast so that we all follow, okay? Now, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. 120 times 1 is 120. So we have 120. Now let's substitute. Now 1 over 3 factorial. 3 factorial is 6. Okay? Alright. Now plus 1 over 4 factorial is 24. Alright? Minus 1 over 5 factorial is 120. Alright. Now let's continue. Let's do the... Let's eliminate as much as we can. So we have 5 factorial into 1 minus 1 is 0. So this one we go. Now here we are going to multiply this by 3 and this by 3. So that we have 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 3 is 6, right? Minus 1 over 6. So that they will share the same denominator. All right. Plus, now when it comes to this, for them to share the same denominator, we multiply 24 by 5 to get 120. And we also multiply this by 5. To get 5, right? So we have times 5 times 5. So it's going to be plus 1 times 5 is 5. 24 times 5 is 120 minus 1 over 120. All right, so we solve 5 factorial into 3 minus 1 will give us 2 over 6, right? Then plus 5 minus 1 will give us 4 over 120. Okay, so we are getting close to the solution. But before that, let me write out what we got. Remember that our nine multiple uh, double factorial is nine times seven times five times three. Okay, so let me write it somewhere. Nine double factorial, nine times seven times five times three, and seven primorial. Seven primorial is seven times five times three times two. Okay, all right, so that I can clean this and then continue with what I'm solving. All right, have you given us a thumbs up? Now remember that we are still trying to get five subfactorial, okay? Now this is equal to five factorial brackets. So what we have here is one over three plus this will give us when to divide it so uh, four we have two. When it divides this, we have sixty. Okay. All right. Now let us solve three and sixty. Let's bring them to the same denominator. Okay. So it's going to be three times twenty, right? So we multiply this by twenty and multiply this by twenty as well. So it's going to be one times twenty is twenty. Three times twenty is sixty plus two over sixty. All right. Okay. Yeah, now we have this is equal to 5 factorial bracket. Okay, 20 plus 2 will give us 22 over 60. So this is what we have. Now, what is our 5 factorial? Remember that our 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that will give us what 120 that is what we got 5 times 4 is 20 20 times 3 is 60 60 times 2 is 120 so this is what we have 
5 so factorial is going to be 120 multiplied by 22 over 60. So 5 so factorial is going to give us 2, right? 60 divides 120 will give us 2. So we have 2 times 22 will give us 44. Amazing, right? Now it's time to bring everything together and solve this strange math question. Now we have gotten our 5 so factorial to be equal to 44. Let me write it somewhere. Now let's clean everything and substitute our values. Okay. Now remember that our nine subfactorial is nine times seven times five times three, right? Divided by our seven primorial is seven times five times three times two. Okay. Then multiplied by our five subfactorial is forty-four. Okay, so this is equal to 7 we divide itself to give us 1, 5 we divide itself to give us 1, 3 we divide itself to give us 1. So what we have is 9 over 2 multiplied by 44 over 1. Now 2 we divide this to give us 22, right? So what we have is 22 multiplied by 9. 9 times 2 is 18, right? 8 carry 1. 9 times 2 is 18 plus 1 is 19. And this is the answer to the strange question. <laughs> I hope you learned something new today. Please share, all right? Comment and let me know what you have to say about this. Or do you have another way of solving this? I will be glad to learn from you. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.